Okay, these, these are some of the activities that would happen in the discover phase. So the technical and IT workshops, the functional workshops, and then strategizing and coming up with uh, detailed uh, strategy documents on the landscape and deployment, the dual development. So what is dual development? Primarily when you're on an ECC landscape, you would have a dev ECC, QA ECC, and a production. Once you start a project, you need a separate landscape where you do your project because you don't want to just go and convert your ECC development to S4. If you do that, what really happens is, let's say you have a production brick and you want to fix it. You don't have a development system on which you can do the, do the brick fix. So we suggest that you leave your production support landscape as is, take copies of uh, your development if you choose not to wipe out your development or take copies of your production, build a new project landscape and do your conversions there. The cutover strategy. Cutover strategy becomes very important for various reasons. The number one reason being that uh, any ECC system is not a standalone. It has other systems that are connected to it. And you have an archiving and training strategy as well. So the deliverables from an uh, discover phase, the, the business function and industry compatibility assessment, the business process impact analysis, the fit gap analysis, the business function and SAP add-on verification, and the simplification list. And we also provide a lot of housekeeping advisory, primarily around data archiving, table cleansing, code cleansing, and so on. Why this is important is because your downtime is uh, determined by the size of your database and all the landscape and infra considerations and also the project considerations.